I wonder what the current relationship between Princess Mako and Prince Akashino is really like. As a member of the Imperial family, I'm sure that Prince Akashino has had his share of problems with the Komuro mother and son, or rather with the Komuro family. It was reported that after joining the family, Mako would be staying at a condominium or other ordinary residence in Tokyo until she left for the U.S. But it was none other than Prince Akashino who ordered her to move out. This is true, some people from the Imperial Household Agency said, they were really close as father and daughter, trusting each other to the extent that they went on overseas trips together and took Mako to meetings with his Imperial Highness fellow researchers, but how did this happen? September 1, 2021 Mako's marriage within the year as reported by NHK, it was reported publicly, and since then, information has been released at a rapid pace every day. It's as if we are gradually being convinced in our minds by the trickle of information and overload of information. That's the impression I get. Mr. Komuro is scheduled to fly back to Japan on the evening of September 27th, since he is traveling from overseas. He will have a two-week voluntary quarantine and then hold a press conference with Princess Mako not long after. The most likely date for the couple's wedding is October 22nd. October 20th is her grandmother Michiko's birthday, and she wants to celebrate it as a member of the royal family. Therefore, she will probably not join the family before then. The 23rd is her 30th birthday a milestone that she has been aiming for for some time. On the day of Mako's birthday, the Imperial Household Agency will have to submit a report on her recent activities, and it is difficult to imagine her joining the family after the 23rd. Therefore, the two days between her and Michiko's birthdays, October 21st and 22nd, are candidates but the 21st falls on the red mouth of the six days of the week, which are used to predict good and bad fortune. The Imperial family tends to take the six days of the week into consideration, and since celebratory events such as weddings are avoided on the Akeku day, which is considered to be a bad omen, we can assume that the 22nd will inevitably be the day of the registry. Then. On November 30th, at the birthday press conference of Prince Akashino, what is usually done in advance is made public. After leaving the Imperial family, Mako married into the Komuro family as a civilian and obtained a passport in about a month's time. By the time of His Highness' birthday press conference, she is no longer in Japan and has already moved to the United States. His Highness said that the ideal form of the press conference would be a get-out-of-jail-free type, concluding with a summary comment on the marriage issue. I wonder if the public will be convinced by such a thing. In 2017, when Mako and Komuro got engaged, it was a two-shot press conference with the moon and the sun. In 2021, Mako's last year as a member of the royal family, Mr. Komuro is confident that he will win with the confirmation of the royal brand, and at this press conference, will he talk about gold sheets and senior citizens? The press conference, as usual, will be full of preparations. It is very likely that it will be similar to the press conferences held by His Majesty and Prince Akashino on the occasion of their birthdays. The Imperial Press Association, to which newspapers and TV stations belong, will submit a number of questions in advance, and the two of you will answer them at the press conference. Then, based on their answers, the reporters will probably ask two or three related questions in an ad lib fashion. Alternatively, there will be no questions submitted in advance, but the couple will give a one sided account of the events leading up to the postponement of their engagement and their thoughts on the marriage, and then the reporters will ask a few ad lib questions. As a matter of fact, 
Most of the answers given by the couple at the informal engagement press conference four years ago were thought up by Mako. Mr. Comro is said to have memorized the manuscript and practiced hard before going to the actual event. On the day of the press conference, when Mr. Comro left after completing the press conference just as he had practiced, Princess Mako saw the relieved expression on his face and looked at him smilingly, saying, You made it to the end. I think she was relieved to see that Mr. Kamaro was able to speak properly from the manuscript that Mako had prepared. It is likely that the two of them will memorize the manuscript prepared by Mako before attending this press conference as well, said an official of the Imperial Household. After the press conference, Mako, who will join the Imperial family and become a civilian, will leave the Agashino Palace and temporarily wait at an apartment in Tokyo. This is because there is a law that only members of the Imperial family are allowed to live in the residence of the Imperial family. The palace is a national property for the use of the Imperial family, so legally, no one other than the Imperial family can live there. However, if the Imperial Household Agency were to operate the palace so strictly, it might mean that former members of the Imperial family who have married into ordinary families would not be allowed to stay at the palace, their parents' home, or spend time with the Emperor at the Imperial Villa when he is resting. In the case of Her Imperial Highness Princess Mako, if she is going to be in the U.S. for about a month, I think it would be fine for her to stay at the palace residence as she is now. If she is going to leave the palace immediately after joining the family and live in an apartment, there must be some other reason other than legal reasons. If he were to leave the palace and live in a regular apartment, I don't know if it would be the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department or the Prefectural Police, but given the current situation, they would have to put up very tight security. It is also obvious that you will be criticized for using public funds. I think it would be better for them to stay at the palace residence until they come to the United States, since there will be a lot of media coverage at their residence and it will be a burden on the local residents. However, her Imperial Highness Princess Mako probably has more luggage than most women, so if she can't store it at the palace, she will have to move it somewhere else. No, no, number. Whatever the pretext, what is the real story? What is the reason why Mako is forced to leave her residence? His Imperial Highness Prince Akashino is most concerned about public sentiment. That's probably why he told Mako to leave the palace immediately after she joined the family. He doesn't want the issue of his daughter's marriage to cause any more damage to the Imperial family. If Mako were to remain in the palace, the public would be furious, saying, why is someone who is not a member of the royal family still living here? If he were to remain in the palace, it would be obvious that he would be fiercely criticized by the public. His Imperial Highness may not have allowed him to stay at the Akashino Palace in order to preserve the image that he had disowned Princess Mako, who had chosen to marry despite the opposition of her and her husband. From now on, Mako and Mr. Kamaro will not be allowed to attend any events related to the Imperial family, and they may be banned from the Imperial family for a certain period of time. However, as a father, there is no sadder choice than to sever ties with his beloved eldest daughter, says a source at the Imperial Household Agency unprecedented and unorthodox. The many events that have befallen the Akashino family have made it difficult for Prince Akashino to stop drinking heavily. And then there's Mako, who is rushing headlong into a fight and can only seek Kamaro, the father's daughter, the royal family and the people, the pretense and the truth. Mako, the eldest daughter, did not know the heart of a parent. No, no, no. From now on, 
The shift will be to Princess Kako and Princess Eugene. There may be more unorthodox situations to come. Thank you for watching until the end. Thank you for watching until the end. That's all for this time. Please share your thoughts in the comments. I would appreciate it if you could give me a rating for this video with the like button. I will continue to share more videos about the Imperial family. So please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any videos. See you soon.